One robot got knocked out, the crowd went wild, and what happened next might change the future of sports forever. After the first humanoid robot MMA livestream from China, things have gotten seriously crazy in the world of Chinese robotics. A company just slashed its robot price by over $80,000, another dropped a one-prompt video editor that's breaking the internet. Can the US even compete? Stick around, because we'll uncover the hidden agenda of these robot fighting tournaments in China and everything in between in this video. What happened recently in Hangzhou, Zhejiang province, is basically like Transformers met WWE and then someone said, hey, let's live stream this. This is what happens when you take the Roman gladiators to the 21st century. It's like Rock'em Sock'em robots, but with real life robots. If you're still a little confused, let me explain. China just hosted the first ever mega fighting series and it's exactly what it sounds like. Humanoid robots punching, kicking and grappling each other. All broadcast live by China Media Group as part of the World Robot Competition. Yep, robots fighting on TV in front of millions. Imagine a bunch of five to six foot tall metal warriors, each weighing up to 60 kilograms, that's like having a refrigerator doing karate, wearing battle armor and trying to knock each other over in a ring. Unitree Robotics was the main sponsor of the event, and the robots fighting in this championship were the G1. You know, the little four and a half foot tall robot weighing only just under 80 pounds, pounding another robot with the same specs. These bots aren't just walking tin cans either. They have AI brains, articulated limbs, and some serious attitude. It's like your Roomba evolved and decided it was tired of cleaning floors. It wants a championship belt now. The fights took place in an actual arena, complete with lights, cameras, and probably a few terrified engineers in the background praying their robot didn't get body slammed into a pile of scrap metal. Each robot is remote assisted but also uses machine learning algorithms to react in real time, which means they're not just following commands, they're thinking on the fly. That means the robots weren't fully autonomous, but they had a cornerman on a stick who sat in a booth and controlled the robot's movements. Basically, they had to make split-second calls to save these robots from being knocked down. But on top of all that, there were judges, rounds, and even slow-motion replays for when one robot delivered delivered a spinning back fist to another's titanium jaw. One of the best features of these robots was their good balance. Because they could stand upright, the tiny humanoid boxers could get up in an instant after being knocked down, just like a real-life fighter. Of course, if the blow wasn't fatal, this wasn't just some tech demo either. It was a full-blown combat league with commentators, fans, and an excited livestream audience watching around the world. If you're thinking, wow, this sounds like the beginning of Real Steel 2, you're not wrong. And here's the kicker. This is only the beginning. The World Robot Competition is China's big platform to show off its best AI and robotics innovations, and now they're using it to launch a robot fighting league. And it seems like China will continue investing in humanoid robots. Before we move on to the next section, don't forget to smash that like button if innovations like this fascinates you. According to experts at the Chinese Institute of Electronics, by 2030, China's humanoid robotics market is expected to surpass 870 billion yuan, which is roughly $120 billion, but that's just the beginning. In China right now, the humanoid robot market is basically exploding faster than a robot getting drop kicked out of the ring. More competitions like the Mecha Fight fighting series are popping up everywhere, from Hangzhou to Shenzhen, and they're not just for show, but these events are not just for fun. They have a hidden agenda. They're like the Olympics of robotics, aiming to push tech companies to build smarter, faster, and stronger bots. Think less clunky metal dudes, more futuristic kung fu cyborgs. Companies like Unitree Robotics are leading the charge. You might know them for their robot dogs that look suspiciously like they escaped from a sci-fi Black Mirror episode. but. Now they're making humanoid fighters too, like the Unitree H1, which can sprint, dodge, and probably moonwalk if you programmed it right. Then there's Engine AI, another rising star that's cranking out AI-powered robots with moves like Bruce Lee, if Bruce Lee had USB ports. This robot boom is turning into big business, like $1.8 billion big. That's how much China's humanoid robot market is expected to be worth by 2027. That's a lot of robot money. 
money, and it's not just about cool tech. These bots could soon be working in hospitals, factories, even homes. Imagine coming home from school and your robot buddy has already done your chores. And while China is focusing on teaching their robots to fight, another company has just made it possible for people to create videos using just a single prompt. Something wild just dropped in the AI world, and it's not another robot doing backflips. Nope, this time it's about making videos, and not the old-fashioned spend hours editing while your laptop overheats kind of videos. We're talking about Deep Agent, a company that just pulled off some serious digital wizardry. They created a video editor so smart you can literally type one sentence and BAM! It makes a full-blown professional video like it's been working in Hollywood for years. Seriously, it's like giving your computer a magic wand. You just give it a prompt like, make me a dramatic trailer about a robot robot uprising. And in seconds, Deep Agent's AI starts generating scripts, visuals, sound effects, transitions, music, captions, everything. It's basically the love child of a film director, a video editor, and a caffeinated robot, all rolled into one. Deep Agent's tool is powered by some next-level AI architecture, combining vision language models, natural language processing, and even style learning so the videos it spits out actually look good, like YouTube viral, ad-ready, social media banger kind of good. You don't need to touch a timeline, cut clips, or even know what a transition is. Just tell it what you want and poof, it delivers. And on the other end of the spectrum, there's UB Tech and their CBO, who just announced that they will be increasing production of humanoid robotics. All right, get ready for a robot price drop that's juicier than a Black Friday deal at Best Buy, because UB Tech, one of China's big dogs in the humanoid robot game, just announced they're cranking up production and dropping their robot prices like it's a clearance sale on the future. And we're not talking about toy robots that dance when you clap. We're talking full-blown human-sized robots that can walk, talk, carry your groceries, and maybe even roast your cooking. Politely, of course. Here's the scoop. UB Tech is now selling their latest humanoid robot model for just $20,000 a pop. Yes, $20,000. That might sound like a lot, but compare that to their early days when these bots were selling for over $100 thousand dollars each. Back then, buying one of these robots was like buying a sports car. Now it's more like buying a really fancy electric scooter that also knows how to fold laundry and remind your grandma to take her meds. UB Tech CBO, Tam, made the announcement recently, and the tech world basically spat out its coffee. Not only is the price dropping, but production is ramping up fast. We're talking mass manufacturing, with factories scaling up to ship out robots by the thousands, not just a few dozen luxury prototypes. That that means you won't have to wait until 2040 to see robots helping out in homes, hospitals, and who knows, maybe even fast food joints. This is a huge deal because UB Tech has been in the humanoid game for a while. They started with smaller educational robots, then moved into advanced humanoids like Walker X, a robot so smart it can handle complex household tasks and move with surprising grace like a ballet dancer made of aluminum. But until now, price was the big barrier. No school, small business, or or average household was dropping six figures on a glorified metal roommate. Now, with the $20,000 price tag, UB Tech is basically saying, hey world, ready or not, your next coworker might have charging ports. This move could accelerate robot adoption everywhere, from elderly care to hotel lobbies to factories, and it puts serious pressure on global competitors like Tesla's Optimus. Once they start mass production, would you buy one of these Chinese robots for your home? Can you trust it? Let us know in the comments below. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence one video at a time.